Raising money is one of the most difficult things you can do, whether you're a CEO or not. About eight months ago, I started a website called thefunded.com, and it allowed CEOs around the world to research, rate, and review uh, venture capitalists and other funding sources, angel networks, private equity, etc. Uh, at first, we had 20 to 40 members. It was really invite only. But uh, one of the original members suggested we open it up. Uh, next thing I know, it was on TechCrunch. A thousand member applications later, uh, the site was flying off the charts with dozens of daily reviews submitted about venture capitalists, uh, advice discussed about how to close and negotiate a financing, uh, discussion topics ranging on issues of issuing options to uh, protecting your founder's equity. So it's really become the network for CEOs to discuss the very secretive world of funding. There's a huge amount of competitive nature within the venture industry, but those are rules of the game, right? So. Um, I'm not so worried about um, the, it, the rule, changing so much the rules of how the game is played today. It's, it, imagine, you know, like anything, there are rules. So if you know the rules, you can actually play the game and, and uh, have a good outcome. If you don't know the rules, you're going to lose. So the rules, like for example, being competitive over a deal, work well for an entrepreneur if they understand how they work and can play those rules to their advantage. Well, it is, it's always a relationship, right? You have an idea as a CEO or as a founder, and it's your job to convey that idea to a wide audience of people. One audience is the investors. So you forge a relationship with the investors around that idea. Unfortunately, in two-thirds of startup companies, those investors end up firing you. So these are things I'm helping uh, new CEOs learn how to avoid upfront. It's always a tough question or tough answer, I think, but top five tips for entrepreneurs looking for funding. So many things. Uh, you know, I like to say uh, choose your first investors very wisely. Structure the deal that you do with those investors intelligently to protect yourself down the road against the inevitable problems that will happen. I also like to advise entrepreneurs to be a little scrappy. Uh, it's always easy to increase your spending and it's really difficult to cut back. So if you start scrappy, uh, you know, you don't have assistance and you're not paying like for everyone's, you know, cars and I'm not saying don't be generous to employees, I'm just saying do it as scrappy as you can and, and then grow your expenses as you scale. Uh, that would be three. Um, and then, you know, in turn, I, I personally believe in building a great team. So, you know, all the things you can do to solidify the camaraderie of your team uh, events and things of that nature and nowadays people have virtual teams so you know get on and play a video game together or something but build that camaraderie with your team outside of just uh, sitting together in the office every day and uh, last but not least you know have fun uh, a lot of entrepreneurs they start seeing success they start uh, having problems and it just weighs their whole life down one way or the other and you need to just take a step back and relax and, and listen I'm probably uh, I should you know note to self uh, <laughs> do that but uh, I am doing it with the funded um, and usually you have the most fun when you don't compromise but that's a whole other side. Do you, is there an art to the pitch? Uh -huh. Oh yeah um, you gotta ha get the audience engaged very quickly sound bites thing so um, you know I was saying if you're creating uh, I, there was a post on the funded today about this very topic like if someone doesn't understand what you're doing very quickly you lost them so uh, analogies taken straight from the movie industry can work really good so if you're creating a gaming instant messenger 
don't say that. Say, you know, I'm creating Mebo meets, you know, Club Penguin with the Facebook API. And people, oh, I got it. And like, <laughs> it's a whole you, other language. well, if you know what Mebo and Facebook and Club Penguin are, but those are pretty good guesses that most of the audience will. So say things, get them engaged, give them other things to draw on to understand what you're doing. If you're putting up PowerPoint slides with Web 2.0, la la la, like that's too, uh, too etheral. You really need to bring it home, engage your audience, and, and you'll do great.